What's up guys, today we're gonna be going over this grungy camcorder glitch effect. I think it looks very nice and I'm about to give you guys all the sauce in this video. If you like effects just like these and want to save the trouble of creating from scratch every time, I just dropped a new pack, it's called New Wave Effects. New Wave Effects allows you to get those grungy transitions, those clean flash transitions, and basically all of the effects that emulate that New Wave aesthetic that you're gonna see from artists like K-Suave, Summers, Laser Dim, even Che. There's so much value inside this pack, I'll make sure that all of the effects are extremely unique and stand up so if that interests you it'll be available in the description with a special discount for supporting the channel and watching this video with that said let's get straight into the video all right so we're gonna use this clip of Nespen right here from his brand new music video you already know i had to use it for this tutorial it looks super fire so we're gonna give this video a really grungy glitchy kind of look the first step that we're gonna do is creating that glitchy effect that kind of distortion the first step to do that is we're gonna do command y we're gonna create a new solid and let's call that solid displacement now by the name you probably know where i'm going with this you guys probably get that there's going to be a sort of displacement effect and that is true we're going to put it on the bottom layer which is our original clip and we're going to leave it there for now and not modify anything so the layer above what we're going to do on it is we're going to apply a fractal noise effect fractal noise is a really good effect especially when it comes to creating those kind of displacement maps because it's extremely flexible and can do a bunch of things with this so i use it a lot lately so the fractal type we're going to change it to subscale and the noise type we're going to change it to block you don't want it to be like any gray area so we're going to increase the contrast let's see about the brightness the brightness let's leave it to zero and then we're going to increase the scale that way you really see like the difference more when we get to use it as a displacement map and now we're going to animate this because right now it is static as you can see it is not moving so we're gonna go over here to evolution as you can see when we spin this wheel it moves so that's what's gonna give us the movement so we're gonna do alt click on the stopwatch right here and that is gonna allow us to write some expressions so we're gonna type time 1200 so that's gonna animate it throughout the timeline at a certain speed the more intense it would get the faster it would get but before we do that try to go before and then let's write posterize time enter press 8 that way it's really gonna be glitchy it's gonna give it a more of a randomized fill then press enter and now we're gonna have this so now we get this cool displacement map i think we can increase the scale even more that is super cool and then i'm gonna try to increase the contrast there we go that looks perfect so for now since we're gonna use this we don't actually want to see it let's just turn it off right here now let's go to the bottom layer and let's make the time displacement one right here and don't forget this is not gonna work unless we put it to effects and mass so don't forget to do that and now you already see we're getting something pretty crazy but the default settings it is a bit too chaotic we don't really get what's going on because it's too spaced out so 0.1 i feel like that's a good space usually it looks good like that so as you can see you get this crazy like grungy glitchy effect that looks super fire so now our next step we're gonna add some kind of grungy colors to it some really nice textures that are gonna fit that new wave aesthetic as well so we're gonna create a new adjustment layer and I'm actually gonna use Florida Grunge, a preset of my new pack, which is super fire. But don't worry, I'm not gatekeeping any sauce. I'm gonna show you what's in the effects if you're not ready to make the investment. Look at this though, super fire. So basically this effect consists of like tritone, which makes it like that is three colors. And then I played around with the curve. You add some vignette. I, I made the lights flicker with the exposure effect. You gotta add some grain as well. And basically, all of other effects that I crafted in order to have this really cool look. So the U saturation is where it's at. We can change the color to something blue. And what's really fun as well is we can keyframe the curves. Like right now it's like this, but then we can go later on in the timeline and then we can change these to get a really unique look. Look at this, something like that looks super nice. And then if we go further on and change it again, let's say if I go like this, and then I make another, it's more like that. You just play around with it. It's gonna give you really cool, unique colors. Now let's look at what we have. That is absolutely crazy. That is a crazy effect. So we're really close to our final result. If you wanna play around for the ones that cop my new wave effects pack, the ones that really fit with this would be image loss. You put it under an adjustment layer 
and now you're gonna get that crazy distortion look at this that's so crazy and we're doing this with zero plugin at all creativity is where it's at so with that said let's look at our final result So that was it for today thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video and if it brought you any value please consider subscribing we're on our way to 5k also let me know in the comments what type of tutorials you would like me to cover next also before i leave if you want to save time on editing just have like crazy results in a matter of seconds i have some presets available at friendlyfiles.ca crafted by me so make sure to check those out i'll see you guys in the next video peace